So we were just talking about how the tour is not only a film or the tennis professional tour. Uh, the tour is a metaphor for everybody's journey, their life, uh, and what they're going for, their challenges, their tribulations, their triumphs. Um, and we just wanted to talk to Neil about his tour and his journey and how it's different than ours, but still, you know, everybody's, everybody's got such a similar, we're fighting similar battles, right? So I uh, just wanted Neil to take us through his journey a little bit um, from the Navy SEALs and, and to where he is today with his business and what he's doing. Sure. Well, um, like he had said, I was a SEAL for about nine years. And in the SEAL teams, it is similar to CrossFit and you have that camaraderie, you have the intensity, the challenge. Um, however, it's life and death. Um, and there's a lot of weight on your shoulders to keep up with your physical fitness, your skills. Um, you have to prove yourself to make sure your teammates can rely on you when the job is needed. So as I was progressing through, I was always keeping in shape, um, best shape of my life, physical challenges here and there, marathons, uh, adventure races, and I had gone to sniper school, and through sniper school I was having a little bit of difficulty with um, catching my breath, and I was about ready to go over to Iraq, and I decided maybe I should get a checkup, and when I got my checkup, they had told me that I had heart valve disease, which was a complete blow to my ego because at the time I was training for an Ironman and I had a couple other things on the list that I want to take care of and the doctor said, well, I mean, you just have to stop. Just, no, you can't take your training to this intensity anymore and I didn't know what to do. I mean, I can't imagine for you training, like, to go to Iraq, like, that, that's what that's what it's all about as a soldier and, like, was that, how hard was that news to hear? Um, when that's kind of what you had been working for with, with your, 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 your fellow, you know, with all your fellow troops and, and all that camaraderie, like, was that a hard, hard it, to it, handle? It was. I, it was very tough to swallow um, because I had worked up, like I said, nearly nine years at that point, getting ready, uh, a lot of professional development to go, that, that end goal was to go and use my skills and, and fight for my country overseas. And I couldn't do that. And now I had to reassess, what am I gonna do? How am I going to still get, use my passion? So I still completed the Ironman. What? Um, I did. Before I, surgery or? Yeah, uh, like two months after they told me that I had the heart disease. Two months after he was told that he had heart disease and he was no longer able to do physical, uh, fit, physical activity, he completes an Ironman, that's pretty awesome. But that wasn't it. That wasn't the end of it. Then, Never mind. Then I decided that uh, I had a really good buddy that was killed over in Afghanistan. So I decided to do a, a memorable hike in his honor. So I hiked to the toughest point in South America called Aconcagua. So this was three months after I completed the Ironman. And uh, and just little things like like that. I have to. I had to keep keep proving to myself that I could do it, which was not the smartest move. At the time, my ego was in complete control. So I decided that I needed to go back to school to change professions. I needed to have some kind of education under my belt. Uh, I came up to Los Angeles to finish out my bachelor's degree. And I came up here not knowing anybody except my girlfriend at the time. So I really lost the camaraderie. You know, we, we talked about the camaraderie, your passion, the intensity, the um, the teamwork, all of that stuff. That would feel pretty empty at that point. I, I was, but I'm a very resourceful guy, right. and I needed to create that community. Um, so my roommate at the time, who was also the co-owner of CrossFit Hollywood, uh, Andrew Thompson, him and I decided, you know, why don't we create our own community? I had a background in CrossFit. I had been doing CrossFit for maybe four years at that time, and Andy was a personal trainer at Gold's. He had a strong community so we decided to bring the two together well about two months after we decided to start CrossFit Hollywood and we're running around literally starting a business the legal side of things uh, figuring out how we're gonna fund this all these things I started having more trouble and I went into the hospital and they said you need surgery now so here I am hustling to start a business and I still have one semester left in my undergrad 
and I find myself on the operating table. It was uh, June 4th, 2008, and there were a couple complications, so I, I was open up three times over three days. Uh, I was released a few days later because I decided not to eat any hospital food. <laughs> So I was very healthy. Nice, <laughs> nice. But still, that ego was still there. Right. Three weeks after surgery, I find myself running up Runyon Canyon, doing push-ups. What? Getting back in shape. Wow, oh my gosh. And, uh, and, and we started the business. So I sort of didn't skip a beat. I kept on moving along. No pun intended. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> However, I, I did get to a point where I thought, you know what, now is the time to slow down. So I decided to go to Thailand for three months after I graduated, find some serenity, and came back with a, a, a different outlook on life. You know, I still wanted to partake in that journey, but I had to realize that, um, I had to kind of squash the ego a little bit and enjoy the tour more, instead of always looking at that final goal, which was, I was very goal-oriented. Like, right. I needed to get to that end goal, and it didn't matter how I got there. Going over to Thailand, realizing what I had gone through with my heart, not being able to do what I once could do in, in the, the physical exercise realm, I had to focus on the here and the now and going through the journey. And oh. since that trip, over the past few years, you know, I've, I've changed a lot. Yeah. I've changed a lot. Enjoying the moment more, focusing on my tour, which is now just a tour to enjoy life, you know? That's um, pretty awesome. Yeah, it, yeah, it's, that's awesome. I love that, man. That's exactly what you said, though. Like, what you just said is the epitome of what we're trying to accomplish. Yeah. Like, like, it's it's about the journey, right? Mm -hmm. It's not about the end. We're always looking ahead and we're always looking behind. But if you can just, like, live in, in this moment now, it's so much more enriching. And at least that's what I felt. Yeah. And, and, and also, it's not necessarily, like, win or lose at the end. I don't think it's ultimately... It's gonna happen. You're gonna win or you're gonna lose. But what, what's what's really important is that you're doing it, right? Yeah. And, and, yeah. Like, and you're learning so much about you're yourself. Fighting. Too. You're learning about yourself. You're learning about other people and developing relationships. You know. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. So it's just it's really. I think that's awesome that you said that, man. And like it's so different than what we've been through. But at the same time, I feel like we're, we're learning the same lessons. So no, I mean it's it's all it's all parallels. I, I just think it's you know really phenomenal talking about how for you. Being in war, that's like your Wimbledon. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, it was, you trained for all those years, you'd work towards the prize, the, the reward, the promised land, and then it just got stripped away. Not by anything you can do, outside your control. Mm -hmm. But there's still that residue of ins that ego inside that's like, I can still do this. I can find a way. Yeah. But you can't, was. but you can't always, you, you know, you have to you have to find a way to go with what what the reality of life is and still get your reward through through the tour of that mm -hmm. through that sense uh, a, a lot of you know what we speak about our our movie is is about that you know what is outside of, of your ability to just take it by the reins and say ah, this is mine you know cuz life is is full of curveballs and uh, as evidenced by you know that amazing story um it you know it totally speaks to me you know of, of what the tour is um and it, it it's also fascinating too i just want to say about the idea of the, the camaraderie of of uh, the box um and the crossfit community you know as opposed to tennis being a lonely sport when you find your uh, sort of centeredness it's it's a lot of times getting outside yourself and, and kind of giving in to you know the, the group giving into the moment giving into whatever that is and just just being present for that um, and uh, you know that's the tour to me and, and now I just I think it's an amazing story <laughs> you know we're we're really you know excited to have been doing this to have been able you know for you allowing us to partner up and um, work train through CrossFit Hollywood to get ready for the tour. Um, yeah, I mean, you saw the trailer. Are you excited to see the movie? <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, man. I I'm just, um, I'm anxious for everybody to see what you guys put together so everybody can relate that we're all on a tour. Yeah. You know, some people just handle it a little different than others, but I think once they see what you guys are putting together, they're gonna stop for a second and think, wow, you know, it's, that's it, that is it. We're that's all on this journey. <laughs> yeah. and, and no matter how many times you get 
pit down with those curveballs you're talking about. It's getting back up and saying, you know what, I might not be able to go that path, but I'm going to go this path instead. Mm -hmm. And you're just, yeah, you're just challenging yourself in that open life. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we'll uh, go ahead. We're we're still on a Kickstarter campaign for another couple weeks, seventeen, days, 17 days, days, something like that. Um, you'll we'll post the link, I'm sure, to this so you can track what we're doing, but we're going to continue our CrossFit tennis training for the tour all the way up until we shoot the movie, which we hope to be doing by the end of the year. So please keep following along and, and watching the process as we get better as athletes and as competitors, and, you know, just in our whole process. Um, yeah, definitely follow the journey, jump on the tour, your own tour, send us videos. We want to see what you guys are doing, what everybody else out there is doing. Um, and let's get this thing shot and made. And, uh, and thank you, Neil Mahoney, for, for not only uh, helping us train at, at your gym, but also for Welcome. being here to tell your story. It's, I mean, it's just so fascinating. And, and yeah. I know that was the short version, but uh, it's just very inspiring, too. So. Very inspiring. Story. Thank you very much. And, and we'll end thank with, you, uh, I am Brad Benedict, and I'm on the tour. <laughs> and I'm Jeremy Mitchell, and I'm on the tour. And I'm Neil Mahoney, and I'm on the tour. Rock and roll.